Hello, calculus fans. All right, let's find an equation of the tangent line to the parabola y equals x squared at the point where x equals 1. Now, we, we have a way of computing slopes of secant lines. We did that in the last problem. But we don't have a way of computing a slope of a tangent line. Because a tangent line may only hit a curve once. So we can't use our slope formula, for instance, that we talked about. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get an approximation to the slope of the tangent line by first computing the slope of a secant line. All right, so this is the picture of what we're going to deal with. We're, going to, we're interested in finding an equation of the tangent line at the point P. So what we do is we move over a little bit to the point Q, which has coordinates x, comma, x squared. And then we can find an equation of the secant line that passes through these points. Now that line is a secant line. It's not a tangent line. Let's calculate the slope of that secant line. So the slope, we'll use the same formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we get x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. Now this slope of the secant line approximates the slope of the tangent line. If that point Q that we picked is close to P, then it's going to be a pretty good approximation. That secant line will be a very good approximation for the tangent line. Now we can actually see this by drawing that tangent line at the same time. So here's what the picture looks like. The secant line that we were drawing before, it's in blue, and the tangent line is in red. Notice that as the point Q gets closer to P, the better approximation that we're going to get. Now we're going to quantify this. We'll pick values of x. Now we can pick any value of x that we want except x equals 1, because then we don't have two points. All right, let's go ahead and create a table. So what I'm going to have in the table is the value of x along with values of m. So I'm showing you different values of the slope based on the value of m that we pick. I think it's important that we also pick values of x that are less than 1. Let's talk about how we got the values in this table. Now we've already computed that the slope is equal to x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So now let's just pick x equals 1.01. .01. If you go back in the table, you'll see that I've highlighted 1.01 .01 in red. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this 1.01 .01 into the slope formula. That's the slope of the secant line. So the slope is 1.01 .01 squared minus 1 all over 1.01 .01 minus 1. And if we multiply everything out and work out what the number is, we end up with 2.01. If you go back to the table that I had created, you'll see that that was the entry for the slope corresponding to the x value of 1.01. .01. Now we can come to a conclusion about what happens when Q gets closer to P. That is, the closer that X gets to 1, that table is suggesting that the slope is getting close to 2. So we're going to believe that the slope of the tangent line is M equals 2. Now we can't prove this just yet. Now, if we assume, in fact, that the slope of the tangent line is 2, then we can go ahead and use our point-slope form of the line to get us an equation of that tangent line. And it's going to be y minus 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 1. So we're using the slope, and we're using the point. The point was 1, comma 1. Okay, that's all for now.